Hello my friends, today I have another uh, toy from Adafruit. So this is another development board which I got for another project. So yeah, I have too many projects, I think I have to like finish one before I actually start another, but nothing can do with myself. I see some cool thing, uh, cool um, development board, cool... Um, an interesting product I always try to get it and I'll come up with some sort of a uh, an idea to uh, to do so uh, this one is a little bit smarter than previous one I reviewed from Adafruit so let's take a look what is this I think you would like it a lot so let's do it so um, it's always come in this uh, nicely wrapped um, little bag and Let's see what we have here. So obviously we have some headers, which is not important at the moment. So take a look at this board. This is, again, obviously yeah, you can judge by the module over here. This is Bluetooth based module, but it has a little bit more components uh, right over here. This is because this is, it is Adafruit Blue Fruit, Blue Adafruit, Blue Fruit Sense Feather. Well, well, yeah, so this is really nice development board jam-packed with sensors. Yep. So as you see, there's a whole bunch of sensors over here and we're gonna talk about them at the moment. So, uh, but let's talk about the size. It's really nice and neat size over here. Uh, on one side low, there is nothing on this side. It's just completely like essentially user manual over here uh, completely clean of elements so this isn't cool because you can mount it flat and actually glue it with the double-sided tape if you really want to um, let's talk about features so I have another printout over here this is very similar dude to my previous review this is NRF uh, 52840 this time it is called sense just because it has whole bunch of um whole bunch of like i don't like this one a uh, whole bunch of sensors on board so the same cortex cpu the same one megabyte of flash 256 kilobyte of static memory but it has sensors so here we are it has st micro series whatever this probably low energy and stuff like that lsm 6DS33 accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer is like one package, I think, maybe two packages. Like, you have to take a look because there's two components right here. It has proximity, light, color, and gesture sensor. It's amazing. It has a little dude over here. We can uh, zoom in and we're gonna talk about this. It has microphone, humidity, temperature, and barometric pressure. So, six seven actually sensors and some of them are multifunctional are on this board in addition to bluetooth it has bluetooth low energy compatible like it is um it's very um well known nrf 52840 chip from nordic and that's i love it a lot because especially at the fruit done, done a good job porting all this um stuff to arduino and it works very well so this thing has 90 usb uh, 90 open source usb stack so it's already bootloaded that program here whatever you connect over here that's gonna be your um windows or linux or, or mac machine it's gonna recognize this board and gonna work with it natively and uh, the, also this native usb stack in in this chip does not require any like it's hardware and that's not yeah they don't have to do any fancy jaws to in order to actually work as usb um this module is certified it's amazing a dbm output power i don't really know but it has on board like i cannot judge uh, in comparison to other modules how much is that good or bad but it has on board antenna so um usol if you want to have like uh connect your external antenna so yeah, unless you just solder straight and remove this one. So it jam packed with um, GPIOs, 21 GPIOs, 6 12 bit ADCs, amazing, 12 post plus modulated outputs, 3 by 4, it's like 3 modules, 4 output each. That's I have to, it, I think it's internal stuff. Don't, not really familiar, I have to like, look at the documentation of this NRF. 
52840. Pin number 13 is LED. It says red LED uh, here, over here, like a small one. It has power enable pin, which is amazing. It's pretty small, 5123 by 7. 0.2 millimeter it just because it has this battery connector so yes it can dynamically switch if you remove the power to use this connector to run on batteries it's like six grams mounting holes has a reset button and it has user button yeah reset button and the user button then yeah don't didn't mention so i copied all this stuff from uh, adafruit website uh, very nicely documented over there there's lots of manual um but i kind of modified it a little bit it also has um uh, neo pixel over here for some reason oh yeah yeah it is blue lid for general purpose connection status uh, it's right uh, i don't see it what? Oh, here, connection. I think this is related to Bluetooth. Obviously, it's blue. And now a pixel for color feedback. So this is amazing. You can uh, do different statuses. Um, and, and we go into details what uh, pin this now pixel connected to. So this connected to 13. Uh, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, there is nothing more to talk about specifically the feature features, but uh, what's uh, what's awesome about it? This this thing is very similar to other well-known um, uh, uh, development boards, but cost uh, is actually really nice. I think it's quite quite good. So let's compare it to other things, other development boards, which I think are awesome, but they are different. Okie dokie, so here we are, i show you two more candidates which are um, kind of similar devices. So this one is by BBC, BBC Microbit, which runs 51.822, so it's older generation. And this one is exactly the same as you see, and this one is at the fruit clue, with the nice monitor over here, yeah, OLED display, I mean. So. These boards are sure something in common. So technically, the same features, they have very similar features. They all have the similar set of sensors. They all have like LEDs and things like that, which makes this one is more awesome. It doesn't have, it's a form, form factor, okay? So those require special side connector, those two, right? This one is very easy to solder, so you just can work with it. The dimensions, obviously, it's pretty much half this guy, is half of the size of microbit, which is even better. Um, particularly, this one has a whole, uh, this matrix of LEDs, this one has nice, very nice display. Um, but, like, at the moment, we just not care. If you don't care about dimensions, Sorry, if you care about dimensions and you don't care about display, if there's going to be sitting there somewhere collecting some data, why would you need this big bulky device, right? Especially when you cannot shut off the monitor or this LED is completely controllable, no big deal. But the form factor is very important. So um, I think this board wins in this regard. So this is way smaller, much more compact and uh, very easy to start working with. Yeah, so uh, obviously it depends on, on, on uh, your particular needs, but if you need display, obviously this is the best choice. Uh, this feels like uh, outdated now, <laughs> but still using it uh, for my some other projects. So this is essentially interchangeable. You can, I think this, the same stuff going around here or here. Anyways, so let's take a look closer on this um, uh, feather board, blue fruit feather board. So guys, here is the close-up of the board. So the, the main components are NFR, uh, NRF uh, 52840 just over here with an antenna. There is a QSPI flash over here, 2 megabit to store your code essentially. And or maybe do use it as a data logger. Uh, over here we have a PMD microphone, which can be used to detect sound. Over here we have light sensor which has a, a, a IR, it can be detected, very simple motions like left, right, right um, uh, left to right and up and down and also detect uh, RGB, probably can report colors as RGB and amount of light. There is a humidity sensor over here. I think, I, I will, I don't remember the exact, uh, I think it's HAT, uh, SH 
T30. Um, so there is a ST magnetometer and an accelerometer, uh, which is pretty handy over here. Um, then we have BMP280, it's a barometric pressure and temperature sensor. So this is quite a bit of sensors right there, jam pack on this board. Uh, as I mentioned before, there is a NeoPixel over here, user button and uh, reset. Um, this board can be used uh, to um, charge your uh, one cell LiPo battery through this connector. This is JSTPH connector. You can power it from USB. Uh, this board can sense the the voltage level of this um, on this connector, so you would know your battery actually uh, voltage. You can you know uh, measure the voltage of the battery. Um, there is a, a con connection LED. There is D13 red LED, and there is a, so and this one is charge LED. I have to verify this one because um i don't have didn't see much information about it so we can take a look what's happened uh later maybe gonna when i'm gonna play with it to see what's gonna happen if you connect uh, one cell battery over here um that's pretty much all basic components let's take a look at another uh, the other side the other side is pretty empty uh, there is no components mounted on it which is kind of awesome um there is a everything is nicely labeled over here like on both sides, there's some information that you can charge 3.7, 4.2 LiPo battery. There is a, a list of sensors. There is also um, debug pins over here. And there is also NFC pin, which is apparently paired with D2. Uh, but I don't think this, like it's, uh, there is uh, information, there is a note that you cannot use this as NFC antenna unless you reconfigure this chip, which requires you reflashing it essentially. It's just, Probably for regular user, it's pretty much um, don't have to do this. There's really some uh, extreme use cases. I mean to say very specific use cases. So it has a whole bunch of digital and anal analog pins. For example, digital pins are over here, analog pins are over here. Um, there is a serial over here. There is a um, uh, MISO and Mo like um, SPI pins all right over here. Uh, this dude, th this chip can do up to 12 bit of ADC and I think 14 bits over sampling. Default voltage level is 0 to 3.6 volt, which is uh, pretty good you can have external reference uh i don't know where is the um sci um, the, where is the i square okay here we are there is the i square c pins over here the notice um, digital pin right there all of them can be used at, as pulse with modulated pins which is pretty cool as well so uh, this is in a nutshell this little nice little board um I think I'm, I'm going to actually, the only one thing is left is actually to power, oops, is to power it up and to see how it So works. what we see here is charge LED is blinking like yellowish or something. So this LED is, NeoPixel LED is shining all color rainbow and what we see here is COM LED probably blinking, probably indicating that this Bluetooth chip is ready to connect, but obviously no one actually connecting to this uh, chip right there. So out of the box, this thing operates, obviously. Uh, I would expect it just <laughs> works, probably runs default pre-configured pre code. So, hey guys, I hope you like this particular board and I think it's really worthwhile of your attention when you're gonna grab ones and actually play with a whole bunch of pretty cool sensors. And I hope you like this sort of uh, general overview video. Uh, obviously, I, the, the project with this particular board will follow. Thank you guys for watching, see ya next time.